thanks for gardening with me. I'm Melissa and today we're over at my daughter Jillian's house. We're going to be working on a craft. We'll be putting succulents in a pot um, to make them look like bouquets. It's so beautiful, so easy and it can last you throughout the season. You can take it inside during the winter and bring it back out and it will last you for quite a few years. First we'll see all the fun we had over Jillian's house with the friends and family putting together these beautiful pots. The kids had a great time and they turned out just beautiful. After that, back at my house, I'll slow things down a little bit one-on-one -on -one, and show you how you could make your very own. So today I'm going to give you a demonstration on how to make the succulent blossoms in a pot. It's super easy to make and I think that they'll really last quite a long time. Um, for this pot I have three hens and chicks. One pot, I have it filled almost all the way with potting soil. And then I'm going to take another little miniature pot and just kind of scoop it down in there to where it's almost level with the top of this pot and then I'm going to fill it with soil so we don't have any air pockets there. And then I'll take the biggest one right here, turn it upside down and what you want to do is just kind of tickle away the extra soil that's underneath there if there's a lot under your pot and uh, we'll just plant it right in there. You want it to be equal to the pot so it's kind of coming over the side of it there. That looks really good. I think we're going to need a little more soil. And then I'm going to take my second one and just kind of squeeze it in right next to it. These are very, very forgiving plants. And they will let you just kind of squish them into any area at all. So there's that one, super cute. And I think I'll be able to fit a third one in there. We'll see. Yep, just stick it right down in there. There we have it. Super cute. Okay. And then I have a little bit of extra soil or extra space. So I'm going to want to put soil in there. A little bit on that side, just to kind of take up some of the room, because then we're going to put gravel on top of that. And what I like to use is um, just rocks for, for a fish tank, because they're super colorful, and they're made to be in water, so I think that they'll keep their color for a very long time. Go. Super cute. Down in there. Good. And these, they will um, shoot off little chicks on either side of them and grow and eventually hang over the pot. It'll be really cute. So now, uh, what I like to do is water it in. So we're going to pretend like I already did that. And I'm going to go ahead and top them off with. And if you think you put 
too much in. I'm sure you didn't. I like to put more in than what I think that I need because you don't want any of the soil popping through. A little bit more down here. underneath there so everything's nice and sturdy and there we have it super easy and I think it's adorable and it took me what five minutes so it turned out so cute as you can see it's so easy to make I do have a little bit of a mess that I have to clean up here afterwards I am um, like I said I did this project inside because it's just so hot outside but I'm going to take this over to my neighbor just to say thank you to her for giving me all these beautiful pots. And I also want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, if you learned something new today, please hit like and share. Um, also, please subscribe to my channel so I can bring you many more videos like this in the future. Thanks again. Have a great week.